used to life under him. So you don't feel like advertising that we are giving away free stuff? You may go outside and shout that we have free stuff here. Thank you, brave ones. <laughs> Do you need a t-shirt? Come on, nobody needs a t-shirt? We have plenty of t-shirts and we love to give them away. So feel free to come here and grab one before you leave. And if you want a dolphin, of course you can have one. Uh, so, what is this talk about? This is not exactly one regular session, it's a kind, uh, it's kind of a movie. It's a movie of uh, the experience of one community member who wants to use MySQL and uh, this is what MySQL has to offer. Everything that you want to do around a community experience is in the developer's zone, which is a website in MySQL site. You can see here the address devmysql.com. From here, you can get om almost everywhere. Look at the top right, there is a login register means that uh, you are not registered yet. So we follow one uh, uh, community member that starts uh, as an anonymous and then we'll see what happens. First of all, if you want to have an interaction with the rest of the community, you start with forums. This is the best place where to start because you may have questions to ask or you want just to look for questions that other people ask. Where do you go? You go to forumsmysql.com and you are still not registered. So you look at the forums and search for the subject that interests you most. Let's say that you are not very much experienced and you start for, with a beginner forum and you want to start a new topic. Now, when you want to start a new topic, the system asks you to log in. And if you are not a user, a registered user, then you have to create a new account. In this case, the, the account that we create, it's a demonstration for this presentation, and the name is a fictitious name, Martino Mikos, which uh, who's an Italian user who happens to have the same surname of another Mikos. So once you are registered, then on the top right you see your name instead of login. Now you can insert a new uh, a new topic. So this uh, topic that you insert will go inside the forum and everybody can see it. You can uh, preview. Once you are sure, 
the topic will appear in the topics list. And you have still Martino Mikos on the upper right. Now, someone else wants to answer your, uh, your question. Now, you see here on the top right, there is uh, no Martino Mikos, but another name. So this other user sees the message and answers. Dear Martin, welcome. This was written in Italian for the benefit of this uh, user. Now, if you are not familiar with uh, English or you just want to uh, talk about something that is peculiar to your language, you can have uh, the forum in German, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and many others. So you can go to the Italian forum or to the German forum and ask your question in German or in Italian or in which language you are more familiar with. You're not going to get all the answer there, but only the answer from people that speak the same language. But it's nice and convenient sometimes. Once you are done with forums and you have explored everything, you may be, you want to be a little bit bolder and report a bug or look at the bugs that have been reported. So to report a bug, you do go to bugsmysql.com and you go there from the developer zone that we have seen at the beginning. To report a bug, first of all, you need to search for a bug to see if somebody else has already reported it. Assuming that you are looking for a bug related to backup and replication, you look for this and see what happens. In this case, the backup and replication bug has been already reported. So you don't need to. But let's assume that you, it was not reported, so you could have reported it using the appropriate uh, form. To report a bug, you have to, to provide some details. You start with a title, and then you have to put a category, and the severity. The severity means uh, how much is affecting you. The category is, you get from a, from a long list. In this case, we select backup. And then you have to say the operating system. And finally, you describe the problem and you, s you say the steps that are needed to uh, repeat the problem. If you don't do that, the developers are not able to understand what the problem is, so they cannot fix it. So let's see one existing bug. This is a bug reported by a developer who suspected that might be a bug by simply looking at the code. One thing that you can do more than reporting a bug on your own, you can just comment on an existing bug and add your own test, your own steps to, um, to reproduce the bug. In this case, the developer said there might be a bug in this case because the code is suspicious, and I provide the the test case that repeated the bug, so the bug now exists, can be reproduced. After this, the developers are able to uh, evaluate the bug, and eventually they, they may fix it. Any questions so far? Yes. There is a test. Uh, yeah. Now, if you submit a test uh, using the test uh, framework language, 
that would be very much uh, appreciated. But if you have uh, another way of reproducing the test that uh, works without uh, writing thousands of lines of code, that would be useful uh, anyway. So if you have a Perl script that reproduces the, the, the test, it's fine. If you have a bash, uh, a shell script that uh, does the same thing, it will be appreciated. The next step is MySQL Forge. MySQL Forge is reachable always from the developer zone. Forge MySQL.com and you arrive at this place where you see many things. You see work logs, you see projects, code examples, and then many other tabs. And notice that when you go to the forge, coming from the bugs, you are not logged in. We're gonna do something about that. If you want to log in to the forge, you use the same username and password that you used for the main MySQL site. So you don't have to create a separate account. You just log in there using the same uh, email address and the password that you used before. And after that, uh, actually in this case, it will ask you one um, additional step because you are not creating a new account, but you are transferring your credentials from the main MySQL site to the forge, even though you're not doing that on purpose, but this is how the system works. So it will ask you one uh, additional question using a CAPTCHA. And finally, you will be logged in as the same user that you were <coughs> in the main site. So once you are logged in, you can see many other things. Projects, code examples, and for each category you see the most recent ones and the top rated. You have the top rated projects, top rated code examples. If you go to the people section of the forge, you see the active contributors and the most recent members. In this case, for the most recent member, you have Martino Mikos because you just joined. When you s go to your profile, you see the same information that you provide when you uh, logged in in the main site and you can add more eventually. So what do we have? We have tools and code. Tools and code are something that you have created uh, one shell script, one uh, interesting patch in C++, anything that is related to code and you want to share with other people. So you put this in the tools and code section. Let's have a look at one of these. Find worst performing indexes is written in SQL by JPipes. You can see the highlighted code. So this is a long SQL piece of code. And if you like it, you can vote on it. If you dislike, you can just vote with a low vote. And then you can add some tags to help finding this piece of code more easily. The same works for projects. You look at a project. There is a description with a link to the website. And then you have tags and eventually feedback. One interesting thing is the work logs. Work logs are the description of all the tasks that we are planning to do in MySQL. 
sooner or later. So you can see what is planned for version 6, for version 6.1, 7.0, and so on. And if you like them, you can comment, or you can vote on them. You can also ask to watch one of these uh, objects, so you will receive an email message when something changes on that. The work logs uh, are divided into several sections, high-level architecture, low-level design, and uh, tags. So you can see quite a lot of details. You can search for work logs, search for online backup, and you find the corresponding work log. Now the Forge has also the software previews, are um, projects that belong to MySQL server usually, that are not quite uh, of good uh, alpha status. They are just uh, something that we want to, to have a feedback from the users. So we put them in previews and let users have a look and give us some information back. So once you click on software preview, you get a list of everything that is in that category. In this case, uh, we have uh, uh, Maria um, Engine, we have Falcon, we have online backup, and other things. For instance, we can have a look at the online backup page and you have the description, we have the downloads, and you can just start using it. The Forge has also a wiki. Everybody knows what a wiki is? Okay. So you go to the main page, and here you see the the list of everything that is uh, contained in, in the wiki, and you can just read it, or you can contribute to something, create your own uh, pages. For instance, if you want to create the famous demo page for presentation, you can just edit, and if you are familiar with the wiki markup, it's very easy to, to start. You see, one equal uh, sign means uh, the top header. Two equal signs are the second level header, and so on. Once you are satisfied, you make a preview. And this is what uh, you see. And then you save it. Easy and painless. If you look at the recent changes, it will tell you the pages that uh, have been created or modified recently. And, you know, it's a wiki. If you are used to the wikis, you, can, you find it useful. It's very nice to cooperate with other people. When you create a project, put the documentation in the wiki, and people can contribute. MySQL University, you can find it in the the Forge Wiki, just look at the for university in the main page, and you find this initiative, MySQL University. What is it? It's a set of lessons, free lessons, given by MySQL developers or MySQL employees in general about technical subjects. The lessons are, are given every Thursday, except in July and August, and they are free and public. So how does it work? You just go there, look at the instructions for attendees, look at the list of the sessions that are available, and decide if you want to join or not. 
If you want to join, look at the instructions. It will tell you to use a IRC channel to ask the questions and to listen to a specific uh, um, soundtrack to get the, the to get the session it, uh, itself. What else can you do in community? You can blog. Who has a blog here? You can start one today. This is my blog, the Data Charmer. This is a blog of uh, Keith Murphy, very active contributor. This is a blog of a colleague of mine, Colin Charles, and a blog of the Pythian group. <coughs> Another group that is very active in blogging. So once you have a blog, you can submit the blog to Planet MySQL, that is an aggregator. And if you have written something interesting, you just uh, submit your blog feed, and if it's uh, related to MySQL, we will accept it. Submit your blog feed, you just have to fill in the form. If you are not sure about uh, the details to, to fill in, you can use the field validator that will eventually tell you what to submit. Once you submit it, we receive it, and you will uh, see the blog aggregated in the planet. Now, one thing that you have to do if you want to be a community contributor, you have to use the software. So, downloads. From the developer zone, you go to downloads page, choose the piece of software that you need, and download it. You have to choose between MySQL Community Server and MySQL Enterprise. Now, MySQL Community Server is for free. Enterprise is a, a commercial offering that you have to pay for. Let's assume that you want a Community Server, and then you choose the package that you need. Then you are taken to a form where you select a mirror. You are asked if you want to register. It's something sometimes confusing because you are already registered here. You see Martino Mikos on the top right. But anyway, if you say, no thanks, just take me to the downloads, like here in this form, it's fine. You get the download. Now this was in Italy because I was, when I went to this page, I was in Italy, so this was the closest I have. If you try this uh, in, uh, in Germany, you will get a, a German site as a mirror. You download it, and finally you get it in your, in your desktop, server, whatever and then you install it. In this case, this is a Mac OS X. You can just use the wizard to install it and start it. In Linux, uh, Windows, uh, everywhere you can just get the same server with different uh, um, instruction to to run it, but anyway, at the end you will have a running MySQL server. What else can you do? You can contribute code. <coughs> what you can see here are two MySQL developers who are recharging themselves with beer, which is an important thing that uh, you need to know if you want to contribute code. With beer, you contribute better code. I'm sure you know that already, but let me repeat it. 
is not true, but they assured me that uh, they code much better when they're doing. So you go to the forge, uh, there is a contribute uh, link. You click on that link and you get all the instruction that you need to know about contributing code. So what is the code? The code is uh, in bazaar trees. And these bazaar trees are hosted in Launchpad. Not really hosted, they are um, published in Launchpad. So if you want to contribute to MySQL uh, server, you go to Launchpad and look for MySQL server. There is the code and you see all the trees related to MySQL server. Now these are the public trees. Trees that have been um, have been contributed by MySQL developers and are the official ones. So the current development tree is MySQL 5.1 and then we have MySQL 6.0 that is experimental and 5.0 that is mature. If you feel a little bit more daring, you go to Sakila server, which contains uh, servers contributed by the community. So here is where people who have ideas put their ideas into code and publish it in Launchpad. Now, what does it mean? It means that uh, this is going to be in MySQL server, not necessarily. But it's a good start. Once it's public, people may find it useful and may ask for this uh, code to be merged. What else can you do? You can uh, chat with other people using IRC. Again, we go back to the forge, and if you look for IRC, the forge contains all the instructions to use the IRC and get in contact with uh, our developers. We are in ircfreenow.net and uh, we use uh, mostly two rooms, MySQL Dev and MySQL. MySQL Dev is for people who want to develop something and they want to discuss technical thing of uh, a good level. The MySQL room instead of for everybody else. So you can go there and if you are not afraid of the traffic, you just ask. Someone will answer very soon. It usually like that. You have just to be there, shout, be polite, and you will get some answer. You can, I mean, if you, if you like IRC, you will find something very odd sometimes, but it's, the, it's part of the game. Then you can meet MySQL people in person. This is, is, these pictures are taken in, uh, at Linux conference in Australia. The one with the hat uh, is giving away some uh, gasoline. Oh no, this is not gasoline, this is black vodka. It's the same thing, actually. It's uh, just a different taste. Uh, but people liked it, as you can see from the faces here. And this, these pictures are taken at OSCON this year. You can see Brian Aker and Monty Widenius speaking about uh, the recent development of uh, their projects and Monty giving gasoline to a lady, and the lady liked it. Then you can participate to conferences. There is the MySQL Users Conference. There is uh, OSCON. There is FrostCon. There is MySQL Camp. This is something that is not, uh, doesn't have fixed dates, but from time to time, somebody organizes it. 
what next? You know that MySQL have been, uh, has been uh, acquired by Sun. What is the consequence? No more MySQL? No, no. More community. So in addition to all the conferences that are, are related to MySQL only, we have the Sun related conference. We have Community One and Java One, where instead of having a few hundred people, we have uh, 15,000. A hell of a community. So we surrender to Java and we try to swim in a, into a new community, a larger community, and contribute even more. And we make friends. This guy is the head of JavaDB. He's a colleague. We do MySQL, he does JavaDB, and we share experiences. These two guys, who are they? The one on the right is Martin Mikos, who has a JavaDB t-shirt that is very odd. And the one on the left is Josh Berkus, who is a prominent PostgreSQL developer. Now, when I published this picture in my blog, I just wanted to show that Martin and Josh are in good terms. Not only that, but Martin is uh, dressed like a hacker, and Josh is dressed like a CEO. But the thing that uh, everybody told me that was most important was this lady on the left, of which I don't know anything, but apparently was the most important thing that everybody has, has noticed. So this is one of the side effects of enlarged communities. Uh, then uh, we have uh, MySQL site and Sun site, which includes MySQL information. So you get MySQL directly from uh, Sun site. And there are blogs at Sun. Blog at Sun are a little bit bigger than Planet MySQL. So in, in Planet MySQL we have uh, 300 feeds. In blogsun.com there are 4,000 feeds. And we have localized sites. This is the Italian site, this is the German site, the events in the Italian site, the events in the German site. So, questions. Come on. Let's start like this. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does anybody need a dolphin? Come on, speak up. I usually do this trick in a flat room. <laughs> so this one is not easy to get by. But welcome to the community. Would you like one? You have already one. You cheated. <laughs> You are too far away. <laughs> Use a proxy, okay. That was a good suggestion. More dolphins there? Okay, let me try to get it right. Why don't go up there? Why don't go up there? It's too far away. Good. And we have t-shirts here. So the t-shirts were brought by Lance, and he doesn't want to bring them back. No. You have to take them. But apart from that, 
questions. This was a movie of what we can do with the community. You can do much more, but that, just to give you an idea. What about mailing lists? Mailing lists are things of the past century. We use Florence instead. But you are free to use mailing lists. They were in the dev zone. That's a lightning talk, yes. So in the dev zone, we have forums, bugs, mailing lists, uh, where are the mailing lists? Yeah, I know that. Uh, No, is actually, actually there is still uh, yeah, a lot of traffic. There is still traffic. Maybe this is the only advantage that the uh, mailing lists are over forums. Anyway, don't be shy. If you have questions, come to the forums and ask. Somebody will answer. Come to visit us. We have a table there. And Lance will answer. <laughs> uh, anything more? Even if it's not related to this, we are here. Take advantage. Ask. I already say that nothing is changing. We have just more, more things to do. Bigger community, more travel. I've been to the States already four times this year. Um, we, we have more customers because Sun has more customers, so we are just exposed to a bigger market. So we have more more work, yes. And we are hiring because we have more work. If anyone is interested, we have uh, jobs in the dev zone, you guessed that. Uh, there are plenty of jobs available. If you are a guru in something technical related to databases, have a look at that. We may have a job for you. Link is at the bottom. Link is at the bottom, but uh, this is just a, a screenshot, so you cannot see it. But I can use a browser, actually. I can use a browser. MySQL is hiring. And here is the list of the jobs. We moved it. Anyway, there are plenty of jobs. So if you are interested, have a look there. Drop us a note if you want a recommendation. Just say, I was at the Foscon talk when you asked for volunteers. Is the business model going to change uh, since Sun owns MySQL? 
the business model is not going to change for sure. Because Sun is very much involved, uh, uh, the question was, what was the motivation for Sun to buy MySQL? Because Sun is very much involved in open source, and MySQL has been one of the most uh, successful and profitable open source projects uh, in recent years. So they wanted uh, to have uh, a project in-house from which uh, to learn how to do better open source business. So they bought MySQL basically to, to grow their own uh, portfolio because MySQL is uh, profitable so it, it will be uh, useful per se but also to learn about the, our practices, about our way of doing business and to apply this uh, uh, business model to other parts of Sun. Yes. And besides, MySQL has a, a successful model of uh, support. The support that uh, we have is very much uh, uh, appreciated by the customers. And Sun is using that to make money for, for a start and also to apply the same model to other parts of uh, some business that use uh, a similar, that work in a similar um, area. Anyway, for the ones uh, interested, we have a uh, BOF. At what time is the BOF? At 7? Okay, at 7 we have a BOF about uh, MySQL 5.1 and beyond. Basically, we're going to talk about uh, the technology and everything that you are interested in. My scale, technically, you can ask and we can discuss. I can see uh, the schedule. Yes, in this room? No? HS3, okay. So, if you are interested, we have more dolphins. <laughs> Still t shirts. Who wants a t shirt? Come down and get one. Come down and get one. 